Bullet family, YouTube family. What's happening, man? I'm so thrilled with the uh, the support. Uh, you guys are the real MVP, straight up and down. Before I get into today's segment, I'm I'm like so humbled by the by the support from all over the world that I'm getting. Shout out to the gentleman from Norway. Shout out to the uh, young lady from Philippines. Shout out to the uh, young man from India. Oh, man, it, the list goes on and on. Shout out to the guy from Brazil. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, shout out to the guy um, with his family from Costa Rica. Man, shout out to the guy from Trump. And my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, yeah. When he bought, that's his talk, say I'm all his. If I'm eating steak, I'm going to give him one that's all his. Only difference is he living it out in dog years. That's my dog, that's my dog, that's my dog. Cuban links it on his neck and he talk money rules. It's been crazy 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 support uh the channel is growing at a rapid pace guys we almost at 20,000 subs like um man I'm so humbled I said I was gonna touch on you know what what to do when you first get a pup because uh this this young man by the name of uh Giovanni Correa I hope I say hey, I hope I said your name right don't quote me you should make a video breaking down parts of how to take care of your bully for us beginners that are looking into getting one. First thing is first, you have to be responsible. You gotta be responsible, whether young or old. Treat the dog as if it's your child because you're actually taking care of a, like a newborn baby. Especially when the pups have just come in, you wanna uh, bathe the pup. And I'm gonna I'm touch on how to bathe, a, 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 especially a puppy. The training is so important. You have to uh, start training right away. Like it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be like you're talking to a brick wall sometimes, you know. But they, they do pay attention. They do lock in certain things. Like for example, uh, potty training. The potty training is so simple. All I do, right, is just take the puppy out at the same time, at least four times a day, at the same time every day you'll be amazed by the time you start doing that a few months that pup guess what he's going to start doing at those uh certain times he's going to start going to the door ready to go to the uh ready to go use the potty because that's what that's he that's what he he's used to you have been drilling him let's talk about punishment i don't know be alarmed don't be alarmed <laughs> let's talk about punishment you never you never once want to raise a hand at your dog you never want to open hand your dog. You never want to hit your dog when he's doing something wrong. He could be chewing on your couch, chewing on your favorite pair of shoes. You know, I got a lot of, I got a lot of Jordans, man. You know what I'm saying? But I, I would never open hand my dog. You want to get like a, a, like a piece of paper, like a newspaper. That's the best, like a newspaper. And just, you just, let's, let's go ahead and whop him. We'll whop him with the newspaper, just paper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and whop him. And every time you start grabbing that paper, like, uh, uh, uh. He knows he's doing something wrong. Yeah, just a few sheets of newspaper. You don't want to roll it up too much. You don't want your dog to be hand shy. That's very important. Because say, for example, you have a child and your, your, your kid raises your hand and your dog is so terrified, the dog may jump at the kid because he's like, oh, no, I, he don't want to get hit again. Remember what I'm telling you now. All right, when it comes to feeding your, your pup, when it comes to feeding your pup, it's real Excuse me. It's real, real simple because on the back of the dog food, it actually tells you uh, feed them by, by weight. You know, like, hey, five pounds might be half a cup. You don't want to have excess food lingering in the cage or in the, uh, the area that you feed your dog. Feeding is also a part of training because if you walk your dog normally at 8 a.m. in the morning, you should feed at 7.30 Give them enough time to eat, and then you and walk them at 8 o'clock. And another thing that's a big, huge no-no, table scraps. Do not give your dog table scraps. For one, I gave my dog some curry chicken. And like a few days later, he, I, I noticed blood. And man, the dog ended up passing away. I had my, my parents took him to the vet, and you, you, as they, they, they looked for the autopsy, and the dog intestines was... Uh, shattered from the from the 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 the, 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 the splint 
off the bones. I will never, never again did I ever feed my dogs table scraps. So man, please try not to do it. All right, let me go ahead and touch on um, a few more questions. I said I was gonna only do one, but here I'm gonna do a few more. Uh, this is from DGT Reggie. What's up, Dean? I'm a recent animal science graduate looking to get into breeding. Could you make a video probably with Don Juan breaking down what makes him a good stud and also what qualities you personally love about him? <laughs> Man, I like all the qualities of Don Juan. But his muzzle is so like nice and squared, nice smash. He's, he's, he's beautiful. His head is as damn as big as mine. And he's so short, man. If you see this guy in person, everyone who sees him in person is like, wow. But more so, his productions. He has a son by the name of Shaka Zulu. And that's my favorite dog ever. Don Juan's son. He is phenomenal. Yeah, but to really answer your question, the quality is that I look for in a puppy stud. Man, I, I, it's so hard. Obviously, I pay attention to the head. Pay attention to the head, the shape of the head. You have what they call a 90 drop. That's when, you know, let me turn around. <laughs> My head big enough. And then from, the, from the, the, the forehead, it comes down and it just like a stop. You know, it, don't, it doesn't come out like this. It comes down and boom. That's what they call it, the 90 drop. You know, and the apple, apple head, a big apple head. Django is a prime example. Here you go here. Um, just like I'm explaining, right? Remember I said with the, with, the, with, the, with the head, you want that 90 drop. You come down from the skull and boom, you see that? Zoom in on that. And look at that muzzle. Nice blocked up muzzle. Nice block. Nice smash, you know, look at him, you know, man, he is something else, man. The legs, nice, nice, strong rear end. You want to make sure you watch, watch the rear end. And, and with the, like I said, with the tails, I prefer to have a long tail. Don't get it twisted. But uh, with, with the exotic bully breed, it's, it's a give and take. It's a give and take. If you take a dog, if you take a dog in the ring, you're not going to get faulted because the dog has a short tail. Yeah, man, look at that. You always want to watch the legs. Don't make sure your legs are not long and linky. Nice stubby little legs. You know, see that? This is this boy's gonna be a great stud. You guys gonna watch him grow. You guys gonna watch him grow. He's gonna be something else. And now, like I said before earlier in the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to bathe the dog. Not it's, it might sound weird, but some people don't know how to bathe the dog. So I'm gonna show you guys. Alright, this is what it is, bully family. And when it comes to when it comes to soap, this is this is what I use. But um, you can also use Dawn dish washing detergent Dawn. That's actually better than this. <laughs> but Travel King hasn't done me any wrong. When you when you washing, you want to be careful. You see you see where I'm at? You like to, you don't want to get no form of water around the dog's the dog head area, ears especially. Why? For the simple fact that ear infections. You get uh, water in that dog's ears, he's gonna catch an ear infection. And man, you if you if you got kids, you you'll know how annoying and how painful an ear infection could be. So you don't want to put your bull through that, man. What you do with the head to keep it clean, you simply wipe it down with a, with, with a cloth. Just wipe down. You don't have to wet it up and all that. No. I'm holding them up. I'm talking to y'all. All right, Papa. All right, you got it. You got it. All right, you got it. The water warm enough for you, ain't it? I know it is. I felt it. It feel good. That's what it is, boy. Nice, huh? Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. You needed this. This is only Django's second bath for the simple fact that he got his ears, his ear crop, and I just didn't want to, you know, chance any type of water at all, not even a little speck. 
uh, messing with his, his, his ear crop. So he's all healed up now. And this video was actually right on time. Uh, all right, boy. You got it. Yeah, look at you. Look at you, boy. Look at you. All right, all right. All right, this is how you do the face now. See, I'm, 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 I'm dapping it. If the water is kind of warm, you guys can't tell, but <laughs> it's warm water. Get a rag. You know, wring it out dry and just go over the head. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. 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 That's all you need. That's what it is, Bullet Family. Yes, sir. Uh, Django Bath 101. All right, Bullet Fam, man, that's today's episode, man. Like I said, I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. The, the support is overwhelming. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's continue to grow together. That's just my little tips, my little one-on-one -on, -one on a few do's and don'ts. Oh, your bullet puppy, man. Shout out to the homie with the questions. Uh, I think it was Giovanni Carrera and uh, DGT Reggie, man. I salute you guys, man. That's just what it is. Hopefully, what I said helped. And, um, hey, till next time. Till, hey, make sure you like and subscribe now. Don't forget. <laughs> till next time, man. I'm out here. I got to go do my feeding, man. All right? I'm gone now. <laughs> and hit that little bell in the corner, man. That little notification bell. When I drop a video, you, you get a notification. You know what I'm talking about? Hit that. I say, who let the dogs out? They sit like me. I put AC in the dog house. Like, uh. I say this all house, but for high five, my new bitch bust that paw out. Doing what I love, I succeeded all in the bully game. I was breeding dogs before the world even knew my name. Knew my name.